person who's with us for 5B uh, and 5C. So I'd like to take 5B uh, and then the related uh, things as necessary of 5C uh, up. Um, Brett, you pulled uh, 5B uh, and then we took 5C uh, off as well. So uh, Brett, would you like to kind of uh, raise your, I, yeah, your issues I, here? I, I don't so. know if I really need a staff report. I think this is really just for my colleagues to weigh in on. So. I think one of the highest honors we can bestow upon either a resident or non-resident of Davis is to name a street after them. I, I, I don't have a warm and fuzzy feeling with the list of names that the HRC and the HRMC have provided us, not because of a failing in those two organizations, but just in terms of, you know, think about the awards we just recently gave, the Thong Nguyen Award and some of these other ones. This is, you know, we have so few street naming opportunities. I, I really sort of wonder, have we, you know, you know there, there may not be any, or well, there'll be very few street naming uh, opportunities in the near future. So are we really confident that this, these names are the priorities of our community? And, and I, as I look at the list, I, I see some, you know, names which I think are inspiring and, you know, they're sort of aspirational in nature. And I, I think like, wow, you know, this would be wonderful. There are other names, you know, um, perhaps the constraints have made it such that they just happen to be names of, uh, you know, people who happen to have lived here for a long time. And not to take anything away from them, but again, this idea of this is probably one of the highest honors we can bestow upon somebody. You know, so for 100 years, you know, or 200, or let's call it 100 years, 100 years from now, you know, there's that, that street name. I, I think there's some gaps in um, some, of the, some of the historical figures who are, are not honored with a street name in our community. Um, and, you know, I don't want to create my own list, but I, I think this would be something where I think we could have a, a broader cross-section of the community really discuss some of these items. And I, I don't mean to slow down the cannery's process of naming their streets, but the staff report in the first item, uh, what is that, B, 5B, you know, there's these two lists and that uh, direct staff to use these uh, lists of names as appropriate. Um, I think we need a, a more broad discussion and we, I think we need to talk about, you know, what the goal is here. And in fairness, the HRMC was looking at historical Davis figures and, you know, that criteria is quite reasonable. Um, I'm not sure, again, with so few streets to name that we should artificially constrain that list. So, um, so I, think what they've, I think they've done a good job and I think the HRC has done a good job. When you look at the HRC list versus the HRMC list, you, you definitely get a different feeling. And when I look at the Human Relations Commission list, I see some names that are inspirational and aspirational, and they're the type of names that, you know, um, you know, some junior high school kid or high school kid will read, you know, learn about the name and go, I wonder who that is. And as they learn about the history, that's inspiring to them as opposed to, um, you know, there are other names on there um, who, you know, um, are, you know, solid members of the community, but perhaps, you know, it's not um, quite as aspirational for the people of our community. So that's, that was my concern. And so 5C kind of got caught up in that because they're indirectly related. So uh, just this is a question of my council colleagues. Are really, we really confident that these two lists are the lists we want to draw from when we name streets? Okay, uh, let, let me see if there's any public comment on this first. Uh, any members of the public that would like to uh, comment? Five for five? Yeah, I figured well, I might as well set my record tonight. Um, a friend of mine who um, is a, a nature tracker once told me that the problem with uh, bird watchers is that they're always looking at exotic birds and they ignore the common bird. Uh, so this just seemed like a nice metaphor with the streets. You know, sometimes the common people of Davis are really the people we should be paying attention to. Donner. OK. 
Okay, very good. Um, but we already have a Miller drive, so. <laughs> it's like the same thing. <laughs> Uh, you know, uh, others uh, here? Um, yeah, yeah, I have a, just a quick question, you know, because hopefully we do have other opportunities. My mixer, you guys are already using that in community development for other things. It's for people who don't know that's a community engagement tool. So I, I could see the opportunity. I mean, I, I, I like the fact that a lot of the streets are going to actually reflect agriculture and what was there before. I think that also goes to the history as much as the, the main streets being tied to people. Um, and just because that's such a huge part of our history in, in this town. So it, it, do you see, Mike, an, an opportunity there for, for that? Because what I'm hearing, Brett, and correct me if I'm wrong, is that you just want to see a little more reflection on this of, of the possibilities that would reflect Davis's desires? Is that OK? Right, and I, I was going to suggest that you know this uh, request that's before you tonight, you know, uh, the timing of it really is such that it's tied to the uh, the needs of, of Cannery and that, that it has streets that are coming forward and final maps and that need names and, and such. With respect to the HRMC list, the HRC list, those don't need to remain static. I mean, once they're, uh, you know, acted on by the council tonight, yes, it's what we have to draw from at this point in time. There's nothing to prevent these lists from continually evolving and expanding and, you know, um, uh, becoming more of a, of a living document in a sense uh, that we can continue to refine and draw from as, as projects move forward as future streets um, need naming. So um, uh, that wasn't described in the staff report, I think, uh, you know, uh, adequately in, in retrospect, but I think that's really the case here. Um, and so, you know, we can take, you know, that, if that's the council's desire is that we keep building upon this, refining this, um, and, uh, you know, having, you know, future dialogues with the council about it, um, th I think that's perfectly in line with, with what we've been doing so far with it. Um, so I'll just offer that. Question? Uh, Dan? Uh, just to make sure, uh, Mike, that it's clear, I mean, uh, for the cannery, in when the final map comes back to us, we're going to have the street names on the final map, right? So if yeah, the street if, names. If any member had typically the street names would, would be on. And Michael can address this as well, but typically the street names would be on the final map when that comes to you, when it comes to the city council. And in the case of Cannery, there will probably be several different final maps uh, that come to the council. Uh, the initial one we are expecting to come fairly soon, okay. uh, and therefore partly driving the need for it from a timing standpoint to get at least the first um, uh, first 10 or so uh, names uh, uh, pinned down. So I'll, g I'll give you an example, so which, which is not, which is just ha helped Id identify or highlight my concern. So for instance, um, Jack Forbes is on the HRC list, longtime Davis resident, helped found uh, DQ University, uh, involved in the Native American Studies program on campus. Here's clearly a, a Davisite who's done things, you know, out of the ordinary, um, not on the HR, uh, HRMC list. And, and again, this is not meant to criticize either list. I mean, you know, there's some pluses and minus in both. But when you look at that, if we're going to draw specifically Davis historical figures from the HRMC list, you sort of wonder, like, hmm, that's sort of interesting. I wonder who else is perhaps overlooked on that list. And, um, you know, I, again, you know, I don't want to take up so much time. I, I guess what I would look for from council is just to throw it back and have a more broad community discussion where people can, uh, you know, see the city website, where it's publicized, where people can recommend names. You know, people can volunteer to look up, and then we just have a, a much bigger list to choose from where we then narrow it down. So people from all walks of life, different commissions can recommend different folks. So the matter of timing, how do you feel about um, doing a motion that basically says that it shall include but is not limited to these lists, and then that way Cannery can move forward with what it needs to do. If the final map comes back, I would think it's still open if there was something that was compelling that, that we needed to address. 
Um, like I have, I like the fact, like you said, you don't want to pick on anybody, but like I like that Narcissa was in there because of the ag background and, and the history there. I think that potentially is a great, a great connector there, and I agree with the same with Jack Forbes. So does that address your concern, Brett? If, if we just say these are a starting point and it's not limited, includes but not limited to the following. I, I guess I would wouldn't want to slow down the the progress of the cannery, and I I don't really know what the timeline is in regards to that, how soon do they need to, to know so they can move forward? She's right there, yeah. <clears throat> well, I think that in terms of the cannery final, first uh, large lot final map, that would be the first final map to come before the council. Um, you know, it's, uh, Yeah, we, we are anticipating that final first final map to come before the council in June. And again, final maps are typically a more of a consent, uh, you know, ministerial action at that point, just as a reminder on final maps. But um, if there's particular names that I think strike the council that you'd really like to see included, or perhaps would prefer to see included on a different type of project other than cannery, whether it's like a you know, the city's next major arterial or, you know, whatever that might, might be in, in some distant future is more appropriate for a certain name. We'd certainly appreciate that feedback. Um, but otherwise, the, the number of names that we're looking to draw from for Cannery, I mean, on the, on the historical list and the, the list that are before you tonight, we were really talking about um, about 10 to, 10 to 12 uh, names total. And this gives us ample, I think, to draw from for purposes of the cannery moving forward. Uh, and then it, the list continues to evolve. So, so uh, I'd be happy to move the item, and I would hope that my colleagues uh, might agree to um, we start a process so that we actually have something which is a little more inclusive and sort of um, yeah. vetted community-wide sort of vetting procedure so that it, it's not just the, the product of two city commissions, that it's just a community-wide list. I would second that and then maybe make a second motion uh, that, that we, using my mixer, open up a process. Maybe staff can bring something like that back. Yeah, we could, I mean, just from a staff perspective, you know, we could certainly utilize the you know community engagement tools that we have such as mind mixer to get word out more broadly and solicit that input um, and then come back to council ultimately with what came in and you know uh, continue to refine it yeah I, I want to I guess I'm gonna express just a little bit of caution I mean I don't, I don't have any problem necessarily with anything that's been said but look we need we need you know 10 12 street names. Uh, we asked uh, commissions to come up with some names. They did their job. Uh, you know, the idea of ag names on the cannery site you know, that have an historical connection to the region and to the city, you know, seems to make, you know, good sense to me. I, I worry a little bit about engaging, you know, public input when we don't have anything to do after we get that input. I mean, um, you know, we can go through a big process and a mind mixer and get people, and then those things are going to sit on a shelf for, a, you know, until we get a, maybe a, another council or two down the road and need 10 more street names or 15 more street names. So uh, I, I like, you know, these lists. I think the commissions have done their done their job, and I, I think it's going to be hard already to select down to 10 or 12 from these lists. So, you know, getting more good names uh, from a broader set of uh, people, um, you know, is, is not is not bad, but I, I just worry about, you know, the public, uh, you know, being concerned that we're, you know, kind of asking their advice when we probably might might use two or three names that we get from the public. I, I just want to so, clarify, I wasn't making it to it that it was going to impact the next map that comes before us, it's just starting to broaden it out yeah, for the future. For, for the future, yeah, yeah. That, that's, that's fine with me. So just point of so clarification is, I mean, we got two motions on the floor, one motion, and they're not, one's not superseding the other in terms of substance, but just, okay. We'd just like to vote on the underlying yeah, motion. I, but. I think we should move. Okay, so the, the motion, Brett's motion is, yeah, can, we, can you guys combine the motions then? 
why don't we keep them separate? Just uh, or what do you what do you think, Rochelle? I think go they they can go together. I was just saying. Yeah. Okay. So it was basically to move staff's recommendation, and then the second piece is to expand the community outreach so that we can begin developing a vetted list so that when we have a need for names in the future, we're, we have that list. So, so that motion would include both item B and item C? Or is, are, is the motion just, just related just to item B? B? I, I think we were on B and then C will sort of naturally, will naturally be moved because C was just being held up for the discussion on B, because it sort of. I, I was just asking if you wanted to do it on one, in one motion. Oh, let's just do it in one. Yeah, no, I'd, I'd like to do it in just B, because actually I'm not. Uh, so yeah, so just B only, and just keep it simple. Right. Okay, so um, we have the motion with respect to B, um, and uh, further discussion? Okay, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Okay, motion carries 5-0. Uh, now let's go to, uh, let's go to C. And this is the naming convention for uh, for cannery, and uh, I'll move this second. For it. Okay, uh, so it's moved and seconded. Uh, if I understand this correctly, then we would really um, only only be drawing from the HRMC's list. Actually, let me go back and pull it up. Do we have some ag I, folks? No, it's. I think you. Draw from both lists. I mean, mm -hmm. I think it's. It could be from both lists. It could yeah. be from both lists. I'm happy to okay. move the item. Okay, moved. It's been. Okay, yeah. It's taken care of. And it's, it's, all, it's like agricultural things. It's not yeah. necessarily people. So it's. Oh, it could oh. be people. But they're the. East West streets prominent deceased Davis residents. Right, exactly. Then ag related for the uh, the rest. Right. Yep. Oh, I see. Ag, re oh, ag related oh, I see. and and cannery related. Yeah, sure. I see. So the right and the prominent the, the prominent yeah. folks don't have to be ag connected. Okay, I'm with you there. Okay. All right. Moved. Uh, moved and seconded. Um, okay. Further discussion. I just I'm I'm gonna get greedy here. I. I love the idea of naming something for Jack Forbes, um, who's really a tremendous, tremendous friend and individual. So, but uh, she's here. I'm sure. She I grew up next to her. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> next to uh, Great, great guy. Um, okay. Anybody else? Okay. Moved, seconded on the floor. Uh, actually, I, I should take public comment. Any public comment on this uh, item? Okay. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed. Okay. Motion. Uh, motion approved. Five. Five uh, zero. With that, we're going to go to five uh, A and.